Hey guys and welcome to another review. Today we are going to review the KNT-308 and this weapon is a new sniper rifle and it has 100 damage, 40 portability, 11 rate of fire, 91 accuracy, 65 recoil, it's a bolt action sniper rifle and it has 5 bullets over 20. This weapon compared to the Arctic Wolf it has the same damage, it has the same portability, it has one more rate of fire it has one more accuracy it has the same recoil it's also both action sniper rifle and the KNT has five more bullets now let's go on with the recoil test now for the recoil test I mean the recoil test is a bit unuseful for a sniper rifle uh, especially with the purpose of recoil but you can still see that when you spray with this weapon just without scoping no scoping about this weapon has still a solid aim you can just still aim at your target if you know the middle of your screen it don't doesn't go all the way to the side and when you just shoot it with scoping it goes accurately in one spot now for the KNT this weapon is pretty much the same as a lot of the quick scoping weapons that we learned to love the L115 A3 the Arctic Wolf but this weapon is still a bit different for one it has the musket scope and the musket is the forge from the L115 A3 and the M110 SAS um, it's a pretty weird scope and depends on if you like not having your screen full with a uh, reticle and just a little dot in the middle it just depends what you like I'm not really all too fond of it but it's it's alright I guess but this weapon with its 100 damage is a solid one hit kill it can tank I've only had two tanks in the so many kills I made with it some 100 damage sniper rifles do tank a lot, this one doesn't and it's really useful in those across the map in Kill Creek because it will not have a damage drop off then it's of course it tanks a bit more but it still doesn't tank a lot and you can still shoot heavy fast as a one hit kill with it and the 40 portability the 40 portability is a bit above average I'd say because the average for a sniper rifle lays about the 35-40 um, it, it really depends on the slide price, but it's so expendable that you can't really get an average for it. But the 40 portability is still quite fast for a sniper rifle. It's nothing special really, it's just the same as the Arctic Wolf. It's good enough to just rush with, but and it's not as bad as the one M107 with the 30 portability. Portability with sniper rifles is just whether you like rushing with snipers or not. Otherwise you just run to your spot with a normal weapon and then pick your sniper and go camp with it. Um, for its 11 rate of fire, 11 rate of fire is really just one, it's really a slightly bit above average um, because the TRG series, the TPG1 series has 16 rate of fire, but the Arctic Wolf, the L115, the DSL1 Subsonic have 10 to 11. So 11 rate of fire is a bit below average. Um, it can shoot, snipers should be able to shoot faster, but if you go quick quick switching with this weapon, you will just switch to your knife and back, your pistol and back, and you don't really notice any rate of fire. So, rate of fire isn't really that important. Um, it only just goes when you try to no scope spraying, and whether you like that or not, rate of fire is important. But 11 rate of fire is below average, but it's still good enough, and it's still one point higher than the Arctic Wolf. Now, for its 91 accuracy. 91 accuracy is below average because a lot of the new sniper rifles have got 95 100 accuracy but still the older sniper rifles like the M107 the Arctic Wolf have 90 91 91 accuracy is really more than that you need 90 accuracy is good enough to just shoot for a skilled sniper to just shoot across the map in pretty much every map it just takes a bit of skill uh, but it's good enough, it's nothing special, it's it's still below average, but it's good. 65 recoil. Well, 65 recoil is really average for a sniper rifle. A lot of the sniper rifles have 65 recoil, and again, bolt action sniper rifles, recoil has no use for them, because you will just shoot one bullet, it goes up after you shoot once, and then you just scope out, or you switch your weapon, and you just go back. It's nothing special really, and you will absolutely not notice it at all. Recall is absolutely not important for a sniper rifle. And this concludes my review on the KNT-308. I hope you guys learned a bit about the gun and that you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more of course. See you guys later. Bye.